Father Ignati has just spoken to us about the meaning of love in the gospel, in the life of the church. But we see it as the most powerful and wonderful thing in all human relationships. It is not in the church alone that love saves, transfigures. Outside of it, it is a door that leads to the kingdom of God. To love means to look at a person and see in this person a treasure, something infinitely precious for whom it is worth giving one's own life, not sacrificing it grudgingly, but rejoicing in the fact that we can give all our heart, all our intelligence, all our strength in the service of this person, and also conquer in us everything which is contrary to love, which can hurt, which can diminish the life of the person whom we want to love. God has so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. He had nothing else to give. He gave his son. And he gave his son unto death. A cruel death, a death of physical suffering, but also a death in which he was abandoned. Not only abandoned by his enemies, but also abandoned by the closest friends he had. For fear, the apostle had run away from Calvary. Only a few women who loved in the simple, sacrificial way in which a mother or a sister can love, has stayed at a distance. And then the mother of God. The mother of God and St. John, the apostle, the youngest of all, who was a man of simplicity, a man of heart, and the mother of God, who was so at one with her son, that she did not say a word to save his life, because she knew that it was his will to die for the world. And she was bringing him forth silently, that he may die without anyone intervening. We can love one another in this way in which one can forget oneself. Wish only for the joy and the good of the other, even at our cost. Let us therefore think of the people who are around us, our closest, our dearest, our friends, and ask ourselves, what can we offer them that would enhance their life, make it deep, make it great, bring joy into it? And then we'll have fulfilled the law of love. The law that says to us, forget yourself, love the other. May your life be his joy, his strength, his inspiration. Amen.